This video is just to tack on catch and cook from the last one. Basically, don't want to spoil it, but I do find a cuttlefish, and I'm trying to decide whether to take it. Uh, pros and cons, I mean, cons, it's there's a fair bit of a process involved in, in cleaning cuttlefish. Pros, there's a lot of them, you know, there's plenty of them. They're beautiful to eat. It's hard to say no to the salt and pepper squid, so let's just dive into it and see what I decide. <laughs> Okay, just got back from a dive and got a little tasty surprise today. Mm. Not bad, they call this a cuttlefish. So, you probably heard of cuttlefish from something that your budgie gnaws on, but um, it's actually this, which is kind of like a squid. It can be cooked up like calamari. The good thing about these is you get heaps of meat off them. There's plenty of them around. You often find them in caves and things like that. They're really cool. They're really cool fish. It's range from all different sizes. This is a pretty good size one. Um, so we've got plenty of meat off this. We've got the meat all down the wood here, and you've got these tubes and sucklers here, which um, can be cut up and cooked up perfectly. So obviously the cook-up will be salt and pepper squid, no doubt, which we're keen for. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Very excited. Basically, I'll clean this up and see you on the pan. Salt and pepper squid, that was good. Cuttlefish, what do you think of them? Do you rate them? I mean, I do, because you get a lot of meat off them. They're like a squid, but you get plenty of meat off them. And I think they taste uh, just as good, to be honest. Um, rate them. Anyway, real keen for the next video. Go chasing some winter kings and craze. Whew, that's my bread and butter. Keen as, see you there. <laughs>